Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's get this chocolate going on. So I've already loaded my object, switched into the shading tab, enabled viewport shading, and I have a basic principled BSDF applied to that shape. I am however going to delete that. So I select it and press delete. And then I want to find a diffuse BSDF shader. So press shift A and search for diffuse. Then I also need a glossy. And also I'm going to add a layer weight just above. Now with the node Wrangler add-on enabled, I'm going to press control shift and right click and drag the diffuse onto the glossy to get a mix shader. I'm going to plug the facing from the layer weight into the factor of the mix shader and change the blend to 0.1. This is going to get plugged into the surface of the material output. Can't see much change at the moment as we've got a bit more to do. I'm going to add a bump node. And the normal from that is going to go into the normal of both the glossy and the diffuse. I'm going to add a texture coordinate. and plug the normal from that into the normal of the layer weight. I need to get an RGB node, a brightness and contrast node, and plug the RGB directly into the diffuse, then into the brightness and contrast, and that's going to go into the color of the glossy. So let's just move those around so they're a bit clearer. Now for the RGB, we're going to enter the hex value 84563C, I think it is. Yes, so that gives us a nice chocolatey color. And this is also where you would come to change that color if you want to adjust the um, type of chocolate that you're using. On the brightness contrast node, we're going to change the bright to 0.75. We're going to change the roughness on the glossy to 0.2, the strength on the bump to 0.5, and then we need to get a noise texture. Change the scale to 1.5, roughness to point, let's say 0.44, then we need to get an RGB to black and white node. Take the color from the noise texture into that and the value from the RGB to black and white into the height of the bump node. And that's just going to give us a little bit of um, variety in the surface of the chocolate to make it look like it's been formed. Now there's not a huge uh, amount to change from here. We can change obviously the scale to make the chocolate look a bit more molten. And we can of course change the value of the chocolate to make it a dark chocolate. Or we can obviously increase that all the way to white and choose a more creamy color for white chocolate. So you can see there are several ways to use this. Uh, so let's send that to render. I'm using the cycles render engine and a thousand samples. Not sure it needs that much, but because we've got diffuse and glossy going on, I prefer to keep it quite high. And then for light paths, diffuse, I'm going to increase to 12 uh, and glossy to 12, total to 12. 
and everything else I think I'll leave at where I put them as 404. Okay, let's see how that comes out. Okay, and there we have a delicious looking chocolate. Uh, it did speed up considerably after about uh, 600 to 700 samples, so you might be able to get away with less. And I did have denoising um, enabled as well, so we've kind of lost that, um, what do you call it, stippled effect. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one and it will come in useful. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up, ask any questions you like below the video, and of course subscribe for future content. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.